So there are two parts to using an action to unlock a content item. First, you have to that the content item must be locked down with a password, and second, the action must be created for unlocking the content item. And in this particular case, I want to make sure that the students get at least a 70% on the review before they'll see the quiz uh, that they have to take. So again, two steps. The first step is you have to put a password on the content item you want to lock. So this is the content item I want to lock because I want the students to get at least 70% on the review. So I go to the settings under the content I want to lock. I go to the access tab and in the password area I'm going to put a password in there. Now what's really nice is if you put an exclamation point in front of that password and then I'm going to go ahead and save it. That exclamation point will hide the content item from the student's view so they cannot see it at all. That's what that exclamation point does. If you don't put an exclamation point on there, the student will see the lock and they'll click on it thinking that they need the password and they're going to ask you. So this is just another big benefit that you can have here. Now the second step is to put the action on the content item. So again, this is the action I want. I want this to the students to get at least 70% on this before they see this. So I go to the settings and you must be in advanced view to see the Automate tab. Then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click on the Action Editor. The Action Editor, you're going to get a little pop-up that's going to come up. What you then do is click the New button, scroll down until you click on Unlock, and put in the password that you just put in. Go ahead and save that. Oh, I'm sorry. Then on the event, you choose what event you want. In this particular case, you want grade. And in this case, I want to put a criteria that the student needs to get at least a 70%. Now you can put a range, as you can see here, if you want a range of, of grades, but they have to get at least 70%. So if they get a 70.1, it will grade it. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and then I click Save, and then I click Save again. And that is how you do it. So now what I want to do is just go in through a student preview to show you how this works. So I'm going to click on the little sunglasses, begin preview, and go into lessons, basic actions here. Notice the student does not see the quiz. So now the student comes in here and they have unlimited attempts on here. I'm going to go ahead and begin. I'm going to click on the assessment and I'm going to go ahead and get my 70 percent here. I'll go ahead and submit. What happens when I click continue is they get their grade and when I go back the quiz is now available to them because they got the 70 percent. If they didn't get the 70 percent the quiz would not be available to them and they'd have to take it again. And then you could actually put in different, another action on there that says to the student you have not gotten 70 percent and please go ahead and uh, retake this.